Crash Bandicoot. You banished me to the past. But all it did was give me more time to plan your doom. doom, doom. <laughs> After 12 long years, the Crash Bandicoot franchise is receiving a well-deserved sequel and a continuation of the tried-and-true classic Crash storyline. Dr. Cortex and Dr. Entropy escaped from the past and have come back, with Cortex directly planning for revenge and putting not only the Wumpa Islands this time, but the whole world in danger after ripping apart time and space. Let's cut the bull honky though, and get straight down to my thoughts. Firstly, I'm digging this aesthetic they're going for. It's very unique compared to previous Crash titles and brings that bit of Skylanders that I really liked without screwing up Spyro. <laughs> Dear God, that pug face. I still have nightmares. I'm actually just gonna focus on Crash's design for a bit now, and oh my God, does this design look fan whooping tastic I'm serious. This Crash feels like Toys for Bob decided to change their name to Toys for Cappy K and asked me what I wanted in a design for Crash. It's vibrant, it has some of Titans and Mutant styling choices, such as the pop print soles on his sneakers, that's my favorite part. He's rocking a lighter shade of orange fur, and those eyebrows are so bushy, I want to snuggle with them. <coughs> uh, excuse me. Um. <laughs> Not only is it changes like this, but very small changes such as Crash wearing sweatpants and some new open cuff fingerless gloves that really overall make the design feel more modern, but not in the way that Titans and Mutant tried by fully overhauling the design. I love it! Next, we've got my girl Coco, and she's looking really adorable in this render, especially with that little heart-shaped patch in her overalls. It's so cute. The goggles scream that mechanic vibe that she was meant to have, and the hairstyle I think is spot on. I love this rendition of Coco, one of the best in years. Now we have by far my favorite design I think that has ever been done for Dr. Cortex. To put it in his own words, he looks butch. Like really darn butch. I always was a closet fan of the Mind of Mutant designs, and this captures that same essence to a C, uh, T, without compromising the classic look and feel. The Wampa Islands and wherever else this game is taking place also makes these new designs fit in perfectly. Now, a fair amount of gameplay has been seen so far, and is looking to fit more in line with the classic Crash formula of linear platforming than an open world style formula, which disappoints me slightly, but it's negligible for me. Any Crash news is good news to me, and though I do want me another fully fleshed out open world game from the Crash series, I may just have to wait a little bit longer. No sweat. Looking closer into the levels, we can see that TFB, Toys for Bob, has put a lot of love and care into this, just like they did with Spyro. The overall design of the shown gameplay has a very large emphasis on the new gameplay mechanic, the Quantum Masks, which grant Crash and Coco with a special ability for as long as they wear them, including anti-gravity, the ability to slow down time, among a couple others. We also get a confirmation that Dr. Cortex will be a playable character, but to what extent, we're not entirely sure. In his level slash levels, he uses his plasma ray to turn what looks to be tiny dinosaurs into stationary platforms, and he can also down forward akin to the hat kid from a hat time. I'm super excited for this part too. On top of this, Crash and Coco are both seen doing parkour in which they run along the walls like in Mind for Mutant, and are also seen swinging on ropes and vines. Another thing about the gameplay that is kind of exciting, for me at least, is that TFB is taking a page out of Sonic's book and adding the grinding use in Skylanders, and it looks to be really well implemented as well. Sadly, the same can't really be said for recent Sonic games or Skylanders for that matter, but it fits Crash's style just as much as it does Sonic's being a 90s fad to grind down the rails and all, so it's just as at home with Crash as it is with Sonic in my eyes. Getting further in depth with the story, here's what the official Crash Bandicoot website has to say about this installment. Link will be in the description. Picking up where the original trilogy left off, Neo Cortex and Dr. Nefarious Tropy have escaped their interdimensional prison and in doing so have fractured the boundaries of time and space. It's up to Crash and Coco to save the day. In the first few seconds of the trailer, we hear that the legendary Lex Lang will be reprising his role as the new Swole Cortex, and we also meet this new mask, named so far unknown, who sounds like he may be voiced by Richard Horvitz, who has voiced Chaos in Skylanders and is the legendary voice of Invader Zim. That's not a confirmation by the way, that's just my speculation.
classic Crash Bandicoot villains will be returning as well, including Dr. Engine and we believe also Uka Uka, but that's yet to really be seen. The jet part also makes a brief appearance with an updated look and it looks pretty clean too. Another thing that really excites me is that there is just a small possibility that we will be getting a whole mess of costumes to dress up Crash and Coco in, just like in the Titans games and CTR Nitro Fueled. I was such a huge fan of this feature and am elated to see it return in some way. That totally tubular skin for Coco is so great, I hope it becomes a skin in CTR Nitro Fueled itself. Will I be purchasing this game, you may be asking? You bet your sweet wumpus that I will be! So far, this game is looking like my twin Sandy 2. In other words, my perfect Crash sequel, and I'm here for it all the way. What do you guys and gals think about it? Are you all finding this game to be as exciting as I am, or are you not as thrilled with it? What about those designs? I've noticed some people aren't as sold in the design. So where do you fit on that spectrum? Leave a comment down below, and I'd love to read every single one of them. I know this is pretty odd to see me uploading after a seemingly forever hiatus, but I really want to put some more effort into building this channel because, truth be told, I am a writer at the end of the day. This writing and recording scripts and gameplay is still something I think is fun for me. If not a career option, at very least a hobby, because we all need at least one somewhat productive hobby, right? With this in mind, let it be known that I am working on a sequel of my own, one which continues my quest to get Crash Bandicoot his very well-deserved spot on the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate roster, and all of my thoughts and wishes for that, so be sure to watch out for that in the upcoming days. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. If you liked it, though, tip generously with a tap of that like button. If you're really brave, why not hit the little red subscribe button for me? If you do that, you may as well also tap that little bell to be a part of my notification crew and keep up with everything I do. With that said, I'll catch you all next time. This is the Captain, signing off. Keep it lax, crash hype.